And here we're about to take my wife's High Lifter 1000 out for a ride. Out on a ride. And that noise you hear in the background is her mower. Why she thought she needed a four wheeler that's so big, I have no idea. And that noise you're hearing there, I believe, is the drive belt slipping. And, oh, there she is mowing. So we'll have to replace that drive belt soon. Here I'm looking down my buddy's driveway to see if he made it home, but of course not, he, he's always late. And I like to take this little side road here because the tires are so dang big, they tear up the actual road. And here we're just pulling over so that I can talk to my son and tell him that uh, he needs to watch the speed on our main road to our house so that the tires don't tear the road up. And, of course, he needs a haircut. And here we go. On these back roads here, especially once they scrape it, I try to keep the uh, four-wheeler around 40 because once you get beyond 40 because of the tires, it, you really start to feel it fishtailing and you don't want to lose control of it.
All right, and here we are coming by one of the ponds in the that's a Georgia wildlife management area. We do a lot of fishing right here. Catch bass and a couple other species. But right here where these tire marks are, off to the left, I didn't catch a video of it, but I uh I've caught a pretty nice five and a half pound bass there on a uh a white spook. And here I'm actually stopping because the hood latches bounced loose. Now on this and my 850, I noticed when I put the sound bar and on my 850, I put the uh, light bar. Well, when you run the wiring through, it just keeps it up a little bit and it doesn't seal enough when you clamp down. So the clamps are constantly coming loose. I got to find a way to reroute the wire, the cables or something keep that from happening but that's a project for another time can really hear those paddle tires on that pavement and uh, something else you really got to be careful of because you you don't have good traction back on our road so i like to try to drive these once every couple weeks when they're just sitting and we just take this short run just to keep the you know fuel going through the engine and not start gumming up and having starting problems That's pretty much it guys thanks for joining us on our quick little ride down some beautiful georgia country roads